guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you're new to my channel, nice meeting you guys and welcome, welcome, welcome. So, today I prepared a job description that I recently found on LinkedIn. And actually, this is a company that I used to work for. So, yes, I'm very, very excited for that. So, let's dissect the job description together. I have it with me. So, the job that I prepared for today is this job commercial sales senior representative if you're new to my channel i have a tech sales career background and i've been i have been working in tech industry in the past eight years from startup to fortune global 500 and sap was one of the companies that i used to work for so why not i prefer this job description what i really like about this job posting is it's very very simple so there is a two chunks here one is it says the opportunity and the another one says uh role requirements right so what i usually how i usually dissect the job descriptions for me and, and for my clients as well is first i will read it all right and what i'm gonna do is i will feel the vibe of this job description so you might feel you might be thinking like what's the vibe what's what, what are you talking about vibe how can you feel the vibe just just by looking at the job, job description yes you can because when this company creates this job description they write from their own perspective right so when you really read carefully you can find common keywords that they are using a lot from this job description and some of the languages some of the words are using right so from the words and phrases and and keywords they are using from the job description you can easily vibe what kind of person they're really looking for right while watching this video pause this video for 10 seconds and really read it with me what i will say from this job description is even though they're looking for a sales representative usually when you hear sales you feel like wow it's very like aggressive salesperson hunter like a lot of cold calls a lot of outrage enthusiastic dynamic but i don't feel that energy i don't feel the vibe from this job description what i feel from this job description is they're looking for a sales representative who is more strategic um who who really likes to plan things and who likes to go after clients based on research and uh who knows exactly how decision making process works and who prefers data-driven sales rather just cold calling or just sending emails. And also I can feel that this specific role requires uh, to work with a lot of internal uh, teams. So it could be a uh, marketing team or it could be engineering team or it could be a lot of partners or it could be a lot of, it could be product teams or it seems like it requires a lot of internal uh, work so that also translates that this person needs to be super cooperative and responsible and one specific question that i would prepare for this interview if i am interviewing this interviewing for this job would be that what 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 is the most difficult deal that you have ever closed in your career right because I feel like they want to understand your thought process as well. Some deals are very simple to close, whereas some deals requires a lot of complicated process, including thought process and external process as well, because some deals they require, they have a lot of decision making, decision makers, a lot of influencers. Before actually closing the deal, there are a lot of processes that need to be done. And I feel like they would want to hire a person who can actually really deal with a lot of difficult situations to close the deal uh, with uh, their strategic thinking, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's uh, I would do. And one more tip that I really want to emphasize here is that you can easily pick it up from their job description itself. However, if you really desire this company and this role, what I highly recommend you to do is read their articles from their company because each brand has their different kind of colors, characteristics, right? So each brand, each company and brand, they have so-called their own image that or words or language they're using, right? And what I highly recommend you to do and encourage you to do is using their own language. So that way they feel a little closer to you. They feel, oh, 
this Lucy is our person, our people, right? So that's it for today's video. And there are so many things that I can really share with you guys. But that will take up a lot of time. But this is just a, I just really wanted to share with you my thought process for the job description. And I am always cheering for you. And make sure to subscribe to our channel because you belong here. Thank you.